Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today, following up what we uh, continued last week, we're taking a look at another unofficial Windows version. Um, like I always say when I start these videos, I have covered a decent amount of these on this channel, but I've never done one on Windows 8. I've done some on XP and Windows 7, some even on Windows 10, um, but I've never done a modified Windows 8 version. And this one right here, as you can tell from the title, is Windows 8 Green Edition. This is actually made by the same people that made the Windows 7 Batman vs. Superman Edition. Again, I still uh, cannot believe that's actually a real thing. Uh, but we covered that last week in a video that I'll have up in the cards right now. And uh, they also made Windows XP Gold and Windows 7 Gold and a bunch of different Windows versions that I've taken a look at. But uh, today we're taking a look at Windows 8 Green Edition, like I said. I don't know what the emphasis or why that they called it Green Edition. I don't know what the intention was there. I don't know if there's any like uh, special features of this. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump into this today for the first time. I'm going to see what this is all about. So here we are booting it up here for the first time. We Right off the bat, you know, it looks pretty standard. We got our little Windows 8 spinning wheel down there. Um, and yeah, this is where it starts to look a little bit, just a little bit different. I know this is totally different than what uh, what we normally have. It's just basically a different background. And again, they're actually going with uh, that very transparent window where you can actually see through it. And whoa, check that out. So they actually skipped all of like the license agreement stuff and like the welcome to Windows 8. You can see down here that this bar uh, is way over here rather than being at the very beginning. but. So yeah, it says Windows 8 Green Edition with a, a different background with, you know, some like green thing going on here. We have uh, that transparent, I mean, it's not a real window, but it's kind of just made to look like that. And we have our options to install on our drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click on next to have it copy all the files over. And like I always say in these videos, I would not recommend using any of these fan-made or unofficial Windows versions on your main computer as I don't know exactly I mean nobody really knows exactly what is contained within these I mean there could be malware um, there could be you know key loggers and people have mentioned that many times in the comments on a lot of these videos as well and I just want to say that I'm not uh, recommending you should use these at all uh, because I wouldn't use these uh, on my main computer I'm doing this all inside of a VM inside of a controlled environment so if anything does happen it's only going to affect the VM um, but yeah, I would not use these on my main computer. I wouldn't recommend you use them either unless that you are fully aware of the risks um, that come with using one of these uh, unofficial operating systems. But uh, with that said, I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video here, let it go through its installation process, and I will come back once we are finished with that. We're already done. That didn't take long at all. It took like probably less than five minutes to finish all that up. But again, we are in a uh, virtual machine with virtual hardware, so um, everything is usually going to be a little bit faster. But here we are rebooting. Um, moving on to the next portion of the setup. So you can see that they have modified the boot logo a little bit by just literally changing it to a green Windows 8 logo. Although there is a little bit of a gradient effect going on there. You see there's a little bit of a darker green at the top and then a lighter green in the middle. Kind of, you know, a cool looking effect. Um, but they haven't really done much uh, with the boot screen besides that. So it says uh, CM Team PK. Let's go through a few basics. They have kind of put references to their, you know, computer media corporation, company, whatever, uh, across this. So uh, come come to the personalized screen. The default is uh, the green color. I don't even know if we can we actually change this. Oh, so we can. So we can make it black if we want to. Okay. So you can still change like the accent color. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. Let's just move to the to the darker green to see what that does. Um, PC name, we'll just call this uh, Green VM. So let's go ahead and just put in a username. We'll call this uh, Green. I'm not going to put in a password. Finish that. So yeah, it says CM Tem Tema PK. <laughs> it's like you know, misspelled team. Uh, finalizing your settings. So I think yeah, this is normally it would say Windows is finalizing your your settings. So they just changed the windows is text to just cm team pk finalizing your settings so yeah that's that's kind of interesting and oh boy here we go with the cm team loader where it installs a bunch of cracked software so we already have ccleaner uh version 5.15 pro edition so it already looks there's going to be some pirated software um 
and this is actually pretty cool it does all of this all this is done with like i'm not touching the keyboard or the mouse right now um it's all like an automated script that just goes through and some of them will actually uh, i think in xp gold it will actually automatically move um the mouse around and it will actually click like when it comes up with an installer it'll like move the mouse around to actually click on next next you know accept agreement cancel whatever but you can see it's i mean it's not trying to hide that it's doing any sort of a you know illegal pirated stuff it's going to go ahead and crack winrar it looks like it cracked utorrent um so yes yeah, so this goes into what i said earlier i would not recommend that you use this uh on a main computer because there is pirated software on here so it is taking a little while uh than it normally would to finalize your settings so i assume that's kind of uh, due in part to the stuff it's doing in, in the background like it was installing all that software um, okay so it looks like we are finished with that so um, we have for whatever reason the login screen looks like it's way off centered I don't know what that's about and oh it just okay so it, it just restarted uh, so it didn't even like let us log in but if you notice it didn't have like the user account picker it had you like type in your name and your password. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be set up like that when we reboot. Maybe that is something um, that one of those scripts will change. But uh, here we are rebooting. Okay, so it's just going to automatically log us in. So we've got like their own logo there. Um, again, this is from Pakistan. So there's like the Pakistan flag there. They did actually like this isn't I don't think this is the same color that I chose during setup I, th I think it was a darker green okay so now it's changed okay so by default it's that much lighter green um now it's going to go ahead and change to the darker green that i specified so it's preparing windows so here we go it's actually running in test mode which is very interesting there um usb disk security is protecting your computer let's go ahead and uh, change the resolution here okay so already the right click context menu looks a lot better than it did in uh the batman v superman edition where it, do it just doesn't have like the huge like genuine mi uh, microsoft software badge like in the context menu um but i i actually got a lot of good feedback uh, from you guys about just leaving the resolution at 1280 by 720 so that's what i'm actually going to do um because this does look a little bit better um when you're actually viewing it in like a window on you know youtube if you don't view it full screen so so you can see that we've got uh you know a different background it's actually running in test mode which is very interesting it's build 9600 and we've got a uh you know a different icon pack um we've got the start screen actually it looks like a lot of um yeah there there's not as many tiles on the, the start screen as it normally would be in a Windows 8 install. I haven't used Windows 8 in like forever. This is just so weird to me now because I've just been using Windows 10 with like a regular start menu, but it even looks like that there's not as many, like there are not, there's like very few Metro or modern UI apps. There's just IE, PC settings, store, and desktop. And I think that's it. There's like not anything. Yeah, these are all Windows programs. So they've actually stripped away a lot of the modern UI apps for this it's not like anybody on a desktop use those uh, anyway but all we've got on the start screen is uh, ie the windows store file explorer and desktop and it automatically booted up to the desktop so this man there's thunder so this is windows 8.1 it's build 9600 uh, it's version 6.3 um and it says copyright 2017 computer media corporation all rights reserved Windows 8 green operating system. So yeah, they've actually taken away like uh, the copyright Microsoft. Um, although it does still say like Microsoft license terms, Microsoft Windows. They didn't change this logo up here like they sometimes do. Um, we've got this open CM Team PK in the context menu. Um, oh, okay, this just goes to their to their website. So they they always seem to put like some uh, like I guess shout out to them in like the context menu for whatever reason it was way more like visually intrusive in the last video that i did on the batman versus superman one um as it just had like that huge logo there but this one just has like a little you know uh shortcut there uh so yeah taking a look at the software like i keep wanting to open like the regular start menu but it's got you know the windows 8 like like the tiled one but there's not really i mean we got c cleaner we have um internet download manager and winrar 
and I think there was U-Torn as well. How do we view, like, like this is all the programs we have. So yeah, kind of similarly to the previous one that I took a look at, there's not really that many apps that it installed. Let's go, just go into program files. So yeah, uh, WinRAR, um, USB disk security, whatever this is, I, I don't know exactly what this is, USB guard, um, that's some program, MS build, um, internet download manager is some third party software. Uh, let's see if there are any themes. So can we go to, let's go view this by large icons. Let's go to, not display, I want uh, personalization. Where is that at? Personalization. See if there's any themes. No, so there's only one theme, the Windows theme, which basically just has a different desktop background. Okay, so they've taken away all of the other desktop backgrounds except for theirs. Um, and yeah, you literally can't even like change this to a different uh, source if you want to. So they've only got one desktop background in there. And so kind of the vibe that I'm getting so far is, is sort of like a Windows 8.1 Lite edition as it definitely takes away, I mean, what's the, what are we using? How much, um, yeah, we're only using 3.37 gigs. I think a normal Windows 8 install is like uh, 10 to 15, uh, I think we, like even around 16 gigs, like, like that's the normal um, size that Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 takes up on your hard drive. So it's only using 3.37 gigs with everything that it has installed. So yeah, definitely like a Windows 8.1 Lite edition, um, but it's not really branded as that. It's obviously branded as, um, you know, Windows 8 Green Edition. Also, this is a CD. I just kind of noticed that as well. This is not a DVD. This is, says 695 megabytes. That's a regular CD. So this can fit, uh, this whole Windows 8 Green can fit on a CD. So that's very interesting. So if you don't have, for whatever reason, if you don't have a, uh, a DVD drive on your computer, you can install this with a CD. So that's actually really interesting. Um, as Windows 8.1, obviously, if you were to buy it from like a you know brick and mortar store or from Microsoft, it comes on a DVD that's you know 4.7 gigs and has pretty much all that space taken up. Um, but there you have it. That's honestly pretty much going to wrap it up for uh, Windows 8.1 Green Edition. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below if you want to see more. Uh, videos like this in the near future. Be sure to leave your suggestions down in the comments as well. Um, this one was actually suggested to me by uh, a few people in my previous video, so that's why that I actually ended up doing it. Um, so yeah, if you have any cool or weird or just you know interesting ideas for a video, um, definitely be sure to you know leave those down below, and I will definitely take a look at them as I always love reading what you guys have to say. And uh, yeah, guys, this one as always. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.